Welcome to the debrief for the Emirates Dubai Sail Grand Prix presented by P&O Marinas and once again this venue delivered. A huge congratulations to the New Zealand Sail GP team. That final was absolutely heart stopping. We didn't know who won, they didn't know who would have won but finally New Zealand took the victory. I'm going to walk around the tech site and see how it went for all the sailors and how they felt it was sailing here in Dubai. Oh there's going to be protests here Tom. This is the umpire's penalty Canada oh. Australia not giving Mark room. Canada oh, crosses the line. Now who turns oh. the boat? And it looks like the Emirates winning <laughs> moment will go the way of the Kiwis. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's lots to be asked. Craig Mitchell's going to decide this. What a final that was. And pretty impressive the Canadians were able to sneak into it and almost upset the party. They were first across the line, but unfortunately finished third. Let's sneak on in and see if we can grab someone to chat to. He's got a hose. It might be a bit dangerous, but I'm... <laughs> I'm coming for CJ, the newest member of the Canadian team. Hey, how are you going? Well, first question, you told me you had to keep Phil calm and if you kept him calm, it was going to go all right. Yeah. How do you reckon it went? He was calm, uh, he was reasonably calm. I mean, we've still got a long way to go keeping him calm, but yesterday I got really stressed as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty stressful moment, wasn't it? But yeah, hopefully we put on a good show, but shame we didn't quite get that last, give him one more metre on the outside there. but. Yeah, it's good. It was a pretty hectic final. I know you guys, were, everyone was just trying to do everything. You crossed the line first and then did, did you know you didn't have it? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, so we got the penalty pretty quickly around that boy, but we couldn't exactly stop because we've got the Aussies one side of us and the wall the other side of us. So actually our hope there was that the Kiwis were going to get a penalty off the Aussies and that we'd beat the Kiwis over the line and therefore get second. But um. Yeah, I mean, there's a million things we should have done differently and it was a little frustrating having, you know, being in the position we were in at the last window gate. But yeah, um, you've got to be happy with how we did this weekend. You know, we're, we're a new team, we haven't sailed together, we haven't done any four up sailing together um, and we were changing a lot of things race to race. And um, yeah, I haven't raced with, with Phil for three years. So yeah, it's awesome, everyone's happy, but uh, a little frustrated. Well, it was awesome to see and glad to see everyone pushing and um, we'll see you soon in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, see you soon. Thanks, CJ. Cheers. Well, the Australians, they almost were able to clinch that event win. They almost didn't make the final. Um, it's quite busy in there at the moment. Um, someone's doing a team-based tour and if you are actually at an event, you can do these tours and get your tickets, but we'll leave them to it. But lucky we did chat to Jimmy in the mix zone. Yeah, look, I, honestly, I would have liked to have gone out on top. That was the goal. Uh, and I really wanted to contribute to the Aussies. But, you know, I gave myself a goal coming in here. It was to, I wanted to get just a consistent result for the Aussies, not give them any penalty points, not do anything stupid, just, just a good, clean regatta. And I feel like I've achieved that. Clearly, I would have liked to have gone out on top, but look, it's been one hell of a ride and to really complete the circle now, finishing out, you know, as a Sail GP athlete with Australia, Feels, feels right. Well, I'm here in the New Zealand base, and as you can see, uh, nothing's happening here and no one is to be found. I think they might be partying over in the Adrenaline Lounge and celebrating that win. So let's head on over there and see if we can grab one of them. Well, Blair, we had to pull you away from the champagne, but thanks for chatting. Congratulations. It must feel really good. Oh, it really does. That's um, amazing from the team. You know, it's been a tough, tough few months, that's for sure. And um, yeah, huge amount of resolve, huge amount of grit. Uh, and epic way to do it. That was one of the, probably the best finishes in Sail GP history and um, to come out on the right side of it, uh, yeah, pretty awesome moment. And it was awesome to see, I know uh, obviously the 29 metre wing was you know, a, t a tough decision really to make to put it back out there. Um, what's your thoughts on, on putting it back on the racetrack? Yeah, well I think as a team we actually sail really well on the 29 metre wing. We have done, um, you know, for the last year or so we've, we've shown we know how to set it up, how to uh, make the boat go fast with it. Um, you know, but at the same time, it's been, a, it's been a strange time where, you know, we know what's happened. Some of the things haven't quite been uh, resolved yet. So, you know, being the team that had it fall down on us today was, was tough. And, um, you know, we spoke last night, just regrouping, sort of gave each other confidence that we know how to control it um, really well. And, and, you know, sort of put that side of it behind us this morning and, and focus on the racing. So, yeah, it's, um, it's not easy, but to, I think that potentially it brought us closer together and um, you know, we, did, we did an awesome job out there and, and kept fighting right till the end and um, paid dividends.
And obviously the sailing team is super critical, but we know you've got some really good support on shore with the new coaching station. Um, how was it with the guys on shore um, talking to you and feeding you information and, and helping you clinch that win? Yeah, Razor and Josh on shore did a, a great job. Um, you know, we've seen it kind of transitioning that way of having the booth set up for the last few months or the last few events. And, uh, you know, we want to take full advantage of that. And, you know, the other teams have got great people in there and, and we want to do the same and utilize our people the best we could. And um, yeah, we're still learning. Um, there's a lot we, um, you know, still ironing out and, and figuring out the details, but we're, um, yeah, couldn't be happy to have those two guys sitting in there and, and helping us out. They did a great job and, um, you know, we're going to keep building off this foundation. I appreciate your time. Uh, go enjoy the celebrations and we'll see you next event. Sure will. Thank you. Thanks, Blair. Well, it was a heartbreaking finish for the Emirates GBR and I've spotted one of their superstars, Hannah Mills. Hannah, oh, must have been really tough to finish that way. Yeah, it was really tough, to be honest. We, we didn't think it was a black flag. We didn't think it was dangerous at all. Um, yeah, so just a bit gutted, to be honest. A couple of them have been dished out lately. Uh, do you think the umpires are getting a, a bit excited or do you think the fleet's just pushing harder? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think you know, there's a real difference between a, a barge in that's dangerous and one that's, that's not. And um, yeah, for us, it just felt a bit harsh. And I guess trying to not, not remember that race and try to remember all the other ones, uh, you must be happy with how the team's sailing. I know the result doesn't really reflect that. Yeah, we, we felt like we really came out today. You know, we were gunning for, for getting into that top three and Unfortunately, didn't quite come off, but yeah, we, we feel like we've been really stepping up this weekend. Well, I'm excited to see you in Abu Dhabi and um, in, happy Christmas and um, with your little Sienna. Thank you. Well, we've plenty happening this weekend. I want to chat to our CEO, Russell Coots, so I'm going to head in and see if we can catch him. Well, Russell, that final was epic. I know you're probably happy the Kiwis won, but that Australian team, it goes to show that they can still deliver without their leader, Tom Slingsby, under pressure. Well, they're a great team. I mean, they are the team to beat. and. Um, you know, they were they, they, they had an, changing out the driver and almost winning the event shows how good they really are. Um, the Kiwis sailed well. You know, I think they just kept their they kept their nose in the game in the last race. Um, really, I think Phil Robertson opened the door for them. You know, if if uh, if Phil hadn't have been so focused on the Australians, I, th I think he probably would have won the, won the, uh, you know, that race, you know, and won the event. But, um, you know, Phil so well in this series but by the same token. I think Paul Campbell James coming on board. So far, the chemistry looks good and they look, they'll, they'll be very, very pleased at that, you know. I mean, changing out your wing trim is another dramatic change. And to come in and almost win the event, you've got to say, impressive. Let's take a look at how that impacts the Season 4 Championship. Australia maintained their lead on 52 points with Rockwell Denmark behind on 41. In third, New Zealand creep back up on 40 points. Emirates GBR are in fourth, followed by United States in fifth. Spain hold sixth place. Canada are in seventh. France close behind in eighth place. Sebastian Schneider and his Swiss team are in ninth. And Germany round out the leaderboard in tenth. Well, that's it for the debrief here in Dubai. What a blockbuster of a weekend it was. I hope you enjoyed the racing. We will see you soon, January 13th and 14th for the Mubadla Abu Dhabi Sail Grand Prix presented by Abu Dhabi Sports Council.